There's a guy named Xander Hall and a guy named The Amazing Atheist. And The Amazing Atheist put out a video that the Xander Hall was uh, responding to. And the video was all about how he claims he invented the SJW genre. And that um, he regretted it. Uh, I don't know what he was wanting. I think he just wants to be like accepted as a left-wing YouTube star. And um, at a certain point, uh, both these guys claim that this dude never really did any real damage. He never really like participated in any culture war stuff. He was just simply responding to videos. But the funny thing is, is um, I remembered this guy because we had reacted to a video of this guy um, where he, it was one of the most racist things I ever saw. It, it, was, it was ridiculous. It was embarrassing. It was very easy to make fun of. This guy was ranting about how slavery had no real consequences and systemic racism was just a figment of our collective imagination. And th when I say racist, I mean he was like doing voices and stuff. It was bad. And uh, I sent our reaction to that video to this amazing atheist guy, and he blocked me. I don't think he was up for having an argument. But it was just odd to me that these two, in the process of trying to apologize, was failing to acknowledge that he participated in culture war stuff. I happen to have a clip here. Because you're somehow oppressed and I'm somehow powerful. I don't like being treated as though I've inherently done something wrong and should feel bad just because my skin is the same color as some people who did a bad thing way back a long time ago. When he did that, when he said what he just said, he lifted his arm up and pointed to the skin on his forearm. And he was wearing fingerless gloves. See, this is what I'm getting at. His aesthetic choices point to a lack of self-awareness and therefore a lack of intelligence that no one should trust. I mean, maybe, maybe this guy really did have a change of heart. He wants to be, he's a YouTube star. He won't acknowledge that he was ever a right-wing YouTube star, but he wants to be a left-wing YouTube star. He wants us to believe that somehow in the middle of adulthood, he just, suddenly gained empathy for other human beings. He wants us to believe that uh, he had a genuine change of heart and this isn't, you know, because he's tired of getting dunked on or, or maybe TOS is a lot more strict than it used to be. But you know what? Maybe he's a grifter. I don't really care because at best... He's just dumb. Let's hear some more. I don't believe that I was born into anyone's debt. I don't believe that by virtue of my race, I am accountable to other people of different races because my ancestors were unfair to them or their ancestors or my ancestors created a world that they perceive as unfair. That they perceive as unfair. Listen, dude, I don't understand what this guy wants as far as redemption goes. I think he just wants to be more acceptable in left-wing spaces, more passable. There's definitely no way of redeeming yourself. You got a time, unless you can build a time machine and go back and not say this shit. You certainly haven't acknowledged that you said anything wrong. If you're just claiming that you're reacting to like SJW videos and that was your entire brand. I mean, listen, by the way, I never understand that whole SJW thing. You know, like calling, accusing somebody of caring about social justice is not the own you think that it is. I've seen the videos. It's like what libs of TikTok is today. It's like, you know. You know, I'll see, I saw one that's like mildly amusing, I think once, but like, I never understood what the context was. 
to any of the things I was watching. So, I mean, it just wasn't on my radar. I don't understand. It certainly was nothing to make a lifestyle of. But this moron made a career out of it. And he's got tons of content, dude, that I am just not going to be able to resist reacting to. And I don't care if he disavows it or not. It's just too luxurious. I mean, listen, you're looking for a charitable argument from me? I'm going to send you to the United Way. They'll give you a charitable argument. I'm interested in making fun of stupid people who say stupid things. And frankly, I don't want this guy. I want nothing to do with him. I don't want him representing me. Out there in the universe, in all the spaces that I'm not allowed in. This is not the best we can do. Because this guy's a moron at the end of the day. If you, if you crashed a plane 20 times in a row, right? And uh, I'm not getting in the plane with you just because you promised that this time you took lessons. This isn't about redemption. It's about competence. This dude's a joke. You know, in this video, he's got long blonde hair. He looks like a, 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 a roadie for the Oak Ridge Boys. Or a, or a, or a, he's auditioning for the Sons of Anarchy. Now, he looks like a Viking. That's how much he's changed. It's the same guy. He just has a different haircut. 